hello my friends welcome back to my channel handmade of god and in today's video we are doing day 20 of our 33 days to morning glory and so let's start today's reading day 20 a consecration covenant yesterday i said we need to get ready for our consecration to mary by learning to recognize all the blessings that will start pouring in Today, we'll be shifting gears a bit. We'll be preparing for Consecration Day by reflecting on how serious a commitment Marian consecration really is. This is an important part of our preparation because the more sincerely we take it, the more sincerely the Mother of God will take it. Mother Teresa will particularly be helpful to us today for she took her consecration to Mary very seriously. Part of the reason Mother Teresa took her consecration so seriously has to do with her roots in Albanian culture. A key word in this culture is Besa. Literally translated, this means faith. But its more complete meaning is word of honor and to keep one's promise. Mother Teresa explains, Besa means even if you have killed my father and the police are after you, if I have given you my word, then even if the police kill me, Still, I will not disclose your name. In other words, to the mind of Mother Teresa, if you give your word to someone, you give yourself. Instead, Bessa has a sacred character like a vow, oath or a covenant. Let's reflect on the last word, covenant. This is how Mother Teresa described his, her consecration to Mary. It's a word that has rich biblical meaning. It describes the bond of relationship between God and his people throughout salvation history. Such a bond is more than a contract, a scripture scholar Scott Hahn explains. A major difference between contracts and covenants may be discovered in their very distinctive forms of exchange. A contract is an exchange of property in the form of goods and services that is mine and this is yours. Whereas a covenant calls for the exchange of persons, I am yours and you are mine, creating a shared bond of interpersonal communion. Another feature of a covenant is that it usually ent entails certain rights and obligations. For example, in the marital covenant, a husband and wife have the right to enjoy one another in the spousal embra embrace of self-giving love. But they also have the obligation to take care of and support one another in good times and in bad. Mother Teresa also understood her covenant of consecration with Mary as having certain rights and obligations and she communicated this Marian spirituality to her religious family, the missionaries of charity. Father Joseph Langford, inspired by Mother Teresa's teaching on the covenant of consecration, spells out the details of a missionary of charity's rights and duties in her relationship with Mary. Listing 12 corresponding rights and duties, the list sig begins significantly, with Mary having the duty to give her heart and spirit and ends with each missionary of charity having the right to enter into Mary's heart and share her interior life. So the two bookends of this covenant with Mary are Mother Teresa's two prayers that we learnt about earlier. Lend me your heart and keep me in your most pure heart. Everything in between is simply the terms of relationship. Let's conclude then by pondering the missionaries of charity's consecration covenant with Mary, beginning with this introductory passage. Moved by an ardent desire to live in the closest union with you possible in this life, so as to more secure, surely and fully arrive at union with your son, I hereby pledge to live the spirit and terms of the following covenant of consecration as faithfully and generously as I am able. So they've given like a table here uh, uh, that, that, that gives Ma Mother Mary's duties and the uh, my duties. It says Mother Mary's duties and my duties. So I'll just read each of the corresponding duties uh, starting with Mother Mary's and then my duties. Mary's duties to give off her spirit and heart. My duties total gift of all I am and have. Mary's duties to possess protect and transform me my duties total dependence on her mary's duties to inspire guide and enlighten me my duties responsiveness to her spirit mary's duties to share her experience of prayer and praise my duties faithfulness to prayer mary's duties responsibility for my sanctification my duties trust in her inter intercession Response, Mary's duties, responsibility for all that befalls me, 
my duties accept all as coming from her mary's duties to share with me her virtues my duties imitate her spirit mary's duties to provide for my spiritual and material needs my duties constant recourse to her mary's duties union with her heart my duties remembrance of her presence mary's duties to purify me and my actions my duties purity of intention and self denial mary's duties right to dispose of me of my prayers intercessions and graces my duties right to avail myself of her her energies for the sake of the kingdom mary's duties total freedom in and around me as she pleases in all things my duties right to enter into her heart and to share interior life today's prayer come holy spirit living in mary help me to ardently make a covenant of consecration with mary so today's reading was uh, like the speaks about the covenant so what a covenant uh, as we all know uh, in our church covenant is like a promise and that's why mother, uh, mother teresa she talks about covenant uh, with the using the word besa which means uh, a word of honor or an oath Uh, and similar to that of a covenant um and she shares that we have to reflect on the last word covenant because this is how mother trees are described her consecration to mary so literally like she had like a covenant with mother mary uh, like a promise and an oath um towards her uh, it creates a bond of relationship between god and his people throughout salvation history and uh, this table is uh, beautifully done uh, showing the duties of mother mary and our duties towards her uh, and wonderfully done like how i read out each of these shows uh, how mother mary uh, you know is towards us and the way that we need to reciprocate towards her in order to get into her heart in the name of the father and to the son and to the holy spirit amen thank you my dear friends for joining in day 20 tomorrow will be the last day day 21 uh, of uh, saint mother teresa and then we will be starting off uh, the last week with saint pope john paul the um, second and hopefully uh, finish this retreat very soon uh, and consecrate ourselves to our mother mary and i'll catch you all soon tomorrow my friends until then take care stay safe and god bless bye bye